In this video, we will be solving this question which says your budget is such that if you spend your entire income, you can afford either 4 units of good X and 6 units of good Y or 12 units of good X and 2 units of good Y. Your first part is mark these two consumption bundles and draw the budget line on the graph below. So let's denote the consumer's consumption bundle by the X and Y where X tells us how much the consumer is choosing to consume of good 1 and Y tells us how much the consumer is choosing to consume of good 2. So according to the question, we are given that 4 units of good X, so your first bundle is 4 units of good X and 6 units of good Y or this tells us the second bundle. So you have the second bundle as 12 units of good X and 2 units of good Y. Now. We have to mark these two consumption bundles on this graph. Here on the horizontal axis we have good X and on the vertical axis we have good Y. So the first bundle is 4 comma 6 that is 4 units of good X and 6 units of good Y which is this point. And the second bundle is 12 comma 2 that is 12 units of good X and 2 units of good Y which is this point. And now we have to draw the budget line in the graph below. Now as you must know from your basic maths that there is a unique line that passes through two distinct points. So if I join these two points I will get my budget line. So by doing that this blue line is your desired budget line. Now let's move on to the second part which says what is the ratio of the price x to the price y. Now for this let's first understand a small concept. Suppose for example the consumer is going to increase her consumption of good x by delta x units. So she increases the consumption of good x by delta x units. How much will her consumption of good 2 have to change in order to satisfy her budget constraint? Now let us use delta y to indicate her change in the consumption of good y. Now note that if she satisfies her budget constraint before and after making the change she must satisfy the two following equations that is p1x plus p2 y is equal to m which is your normal budget line and the second would be p1 x plus delta x that is the change in your consumption of good x plus p2 y plus delta y is equal to m. Now if I subtract equation 1 from equation 2 I will get p1 delta x plus p2 delta y is equal to 0. Now this says that the total value of the change in your consumption must be 0. Now p1 delta x is equal to minus p2 delta y or p1 divided by p2 minus is equal to delta y divided by delta y. X. Now I have specifically kept minus here just to ease my calculation as the change can be positive or negative. So just to avoid the confusion in the calculation I am keeping the minus on the prices as prices are always positive or zero. So now if I am able to find the ratio of change in your consumption then I will be able to find the ratio of your prices. Now let's find the delta y which is the change in consumption of good 2. Your delta y that would be this bundle minus this bundle so 2 minus 6 which is minus 4 as your consumption is decreased by 4 units. Now change in x is 12 minus 4 as your consumption is increased by 8 units. So your delta y by delta x is delta y is minus 4 and delta x is 8. Now I get that minus of p1 divided by p p2 is equal to minus 4 by 8 or p1 divided by p2 is equal to 1 divided by 2 as minus gets cancelled with this and this is 2. So your p1 divided by p2 is 1 divided by 2 that is the ratio of price of x to the ratio of price of y is 1 divided by 2. Now let's move on to the next part which says if you spent all your income on x how much x could you buy. Now this is nothing but your horizontal intercept. So here if I spent all my income on x this means your y 
is equal to 0. Now, if your y is 0, we know that x is equal to m divided by p1 or which is your horizontal intercept. And now by looking at the graph, I get that my horizontal intercept is 16. So, if I spent all my income on x, I will be able to buy 16 units of good x. If you spent all your income on y, how much could you buy of good y? Now, again using the same concept as here, but here we will be solving your vertical intercept. Now, if I spent all my income on good y, then my x is 0. And if my x is 0, my y would be m divided by p2 which is my vertical intercept and by looking at the graph I can see that my vertical intercept is 8. So if I spent all my income on y I will be able to buy 8 units of good y. Now moving on to the next part here we are asked to write the budget equation that gives you the same budget line where the price of x is 1. Now from our previous parts we know that my horizontal intercept is 16 my vertical intercept is 8 and my price ratio is and your general equation of the budget line is p1x plus p2y is equal to m now from here i get that your m is equal to 16 p1 and from here i get that twice of p1 is equal to p2 now your P2 is in terms of P1 and your M is also in terms of P1. So substituting these values into this equation, I get that P1X plus P2 is now 2P1. So P1Y is equal to and your M is 16P1. So that is your 16P1. Now the question says the price of X is 1. That is your P1 is equal to 1. Now substituting this value into this equation, I get my equation as x plus twice of y is equal to 16, which is your desired budget equation. Now moving on to the next part, it asks us to write the budget equation that gives you the same budget line where the price of x is 3. Now note that the entire process remains the same. At this particular step, I introduce the value of price of x as 1. So here, the question is now changing that your p1 is 3. With my budget equation as p1x plus twice p1y is equal to 16 p1. So if I make the substitution of P1 as 3, I will be able to get my new budget equation. So by doing that, I get 3x plus twice multiplied by 3, y is equal to 16 multiplied by 3. That is 3x plus 6y is equal to 48, which is your new budget equation when your price of x is now 3 instead of 1, which was this particular case. So now if you find this particular method to be confusing, there is an alternative approach that you can use. So now let's use these particular equations. Now if your P1 is 3, your M divided by P1 is 16, which means your M is 16 multiplied by 3 or 48. And we also know that P1 divided by P2 is 1 divided by 2. So you have P1 divided by P2 as 1 divided by 2 which gives me 3 divided by p2 is equal to 1 divided by 2 which is equal to p2 is equal to 6. Now I have the value of p2 which is 6. This is the value of your m and your p1 is equal to 3 as it is given in the question. Now substituting all these values into my general equation of the budget line I get that 3x plus P2Y, your P2 is 6, Y remains as it is and your M is 48. So your M is 48, which is your desired budget equation. You can take either of the approaches, it's up to you.